I cannot believe that we have now owned this cottage in Texas for three months. It's kind of been the longest, shortest three months ever. <laughs> If you are new here or haven't heard, Romeo and I bought a 110 year old cottage in Texas for a few reasons. We have always wanted to own a home here in Texas as I'm from Texas originally and we wanted to be closer to my parents as we live in Los Angeles and I've lived there for a long time. And another, I have been dreaming about renovating my own house, getting to do whatever I wanted for as long as I can remember and it's an investment in our future. I've been sharing every part of this renovation process process on my channel. I have an entire playlist so that you can binge watch what we've done so far from demo to the new floor plan, the new layout to shopping and inspiration and everything that is involved and everything that goes into renovating a house. We have been doing a lot of work, a lot of demo work, and we have not spent a dime on any of it. Well, of course, to buy the house, but let's explore what it looked like when we bought it, what it looks like now and where we're going. And then we'll go shopping. We're going to have a lot of fun over the next couple of days so come on in oh hi welcome to our new home <laughs> originally when we were looking at houses this house just kind of took my breath away and I think what I loved most about it was one it's got really high ceilings get 12 foot ceilings throughout all of the original portions of the house also had this beautiful stain color in all of the woods the wainscoting and these beautiful entryway doors they have transoms above them and side lights on each side and there's one at the front door and then one right behind me that went to a not so cute area of their house but what will be a very beautiful area when we're all finished with it. This was actually their foyer and it led to two other rooms in the house. And it was a quite a large foyer, but for us and for our family, it just was gonna end up being unused space. And because of the size of the house, it's not very big. It started when we purchased the house, it was around 1,640 square feet. Now that we've removed some of the poor kind of additions that they had added on, it's now down to about 900 square feet. When we're all done, said and done, it'll be just under 2,000 square feet. So we needed to optimize every square foot that we possibly can and I am a big fan of more open concepts. So right when you walk in, you will be in our makeshift foyer, but you'll have an open concept from the kitchen to the living room. So you'll be able to see both spaces at one time. This is going to be our future living room. Also a lot of chimneys up in the attic that were just left there and weren't used down in the house anymore. They weren't even exposed on the roof anymore. Uh, so we had to do a lot of demolition and taking these down. So there was one right here. There were also two closets, one access from that room and then a hallway closet here. Obviously a hallway closet is great to have in a foyer and we are still going to have one. It's just going to be positioned on the other side of this entryway. So literally, you would have to walk like two foot. We pulled up the horrible flooring that they had, the vinyl linoleum diamond design floor. We haven't finished getting it up because it's really hard to get up, so we have to use a heat gun and stuff like that, but we've made loads of progress there. We've also removed the trim from the windows that we're gonna be positioning to that wall. We've removed the drywall from the wall that I want exposed shiplap. So I've got some big plans for this room. Right in the middle where there is a window, now will be our future fireplace. I wanna bring in some limestone detail, like over grouted limestone stone on the fireplace as limestone is really common here. I want to reuse some of the brick from the old chimneys as the firebox behind. And then on each side, we're going to have bookshelves for all of the pretty things that I thrift shop. I love to style bookshelves. I have one in LA that is just like my favorite little moment in the house. And so now we're going to have it in a big moment. And then all along the west facing wall along the front of the house, people are going to reposition the windows here to that wall so that you can look out onto the porch where I want big ferns and this pretty black swing that just sits out there. Um, so you'll look outside. So we'll have tons of sunset light. The light that floods in this house at sunset is just absolutely gorgeous. So I couldn't imagine the living room, the dining room, the kitchen being positioned anywhere else, but kind of enjoying all of that, that 
light. I worked down here for like two or three days just getting all of the acoustic tiles off of the original shiplap ceilings. Something that I really want to do in this space is actually vault the interior ceiling to match the pitch line of the roof. I feel like it's going to make such a small space feel bigger, more grand, more open. I've already checked up in the roof and we can do it. So from the living room, and I'm gonna turn you around, and you're gonna walk right through a larger entryway, a nine foot entryway, and stare right into our kitchen. I can't wait. <laughs> this actually used to be their bathroom, where our kitchen's gonna go, which is a great budget saver because we're able to use all of the existing plumbing We'll see if the plumbing is up to par. The old bathroom actually took me three days to demolish by myself, and that was just the walls. Then my dad and Romeo were here, and we were taking down the chimney that was actually bowing the ceiling. It was not in good shape. It needed to come out. So we got that down and salvaged all of the beadboard so that we can reuse all of that beadboard in different ways throughout the house. But basically, you'll look right from the living room into the kitchen, and I wanna build out a couple of things that are really special, bringing that warm, rich tone wood up onto the windows. And here's an inspiration picture of kind of what I'm looking for. This was already original detail to the house, so when I saw this picture, I was like, that is going to be beautiful on each side of the oven instead of how she has it on each side of her sink. And then off to the right side, my right, your left, is going to be our dining room. So it's gonna continue from the, the oven, the window, our refrigerator will be here. All this area here will be a beautiful dining room. So this window actually will become two windows on the front of the house to let in a little more sunlight. We're going to be replacing that window with these two windows here. So we're just gonna take these, and plop them in the front of the house. So on this side of the island, on this side of the kitchen, you'll walk through somewhat of an entryway here to our pantry, to a coffee pantry, and then you'll go out the back door right here where this window is. So we're back in the foyer now, and this was the other very beautiful transom side light entryway that I loved. And I really wanted that entryway to go to a good place. The entryway to our addition, which is our bedrooms, two bathrooms, the laundry room, the closets, things like that. So most of the addition is actually gonna be a new build. So we're gonna pour a concrete foundation for that. Unlike what the house is now, which is on a pier and beam foundation. If we pour concrete, it's like one and done, it's never gonna move kind of thing. So that's the direction we're going. But there are a few places part of the original house that we are keeping to utilize for the addition. So they used to have an entryway here going to their kitchen. There's no longer there. There's no longer in a kitchen. Oh. This entryway that we just walked through will actually be closed up. So this will be a solid wall. And we are standing in the guest bathroom right now. So you can kind of see an entryway here that you're gonna walk into. It'll be the vanity, a toilet, a vintage style tub, and shower situation and loads of storage. This is gonna be an opening here. We're gonna walk down the hallway, do 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 do, and then there's no more house. <laughs> there's no more original house. So this used to be their laundry room. So I was down here demoing all of this out, some shelving, some countertops. Oh, parts of this house was so overbuilt. We were able to save the foundation, the floor, some siding. We're gonna save all of this siding because this used to actually be a porch. We've been doing so much work cleaning up the property and taking off other additions. This was all built out. We had a old sleeping porch to a hot tub room to a craft room. All of these little add-ons that were out here um, that we finally got all down and the property cleaned up. So as you can see, we've done a lot of work, but I felt like at times I wasn't really appreciating all of the work that we were doing or all the stuff that we were accomplishing because there was just still so much to do. But we are finally to the fun part. Tomorrow I have two meetings. I have a meeting at Ferguson's, which is an appliance and plumbing place so that we can pick our refrigerator and our stoves and our sinks and our faucets and all of the shower situations, all of that type of stuff. You guys have actually seen me go there twice already kind of 
priming my brain. After that meeting, I'm gonna head to Doll Tile and we're gonna have a tile meeting. I cannot wait for tomorrow, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is 10.28 a.m. I am already in San Antonio for our meeting. Now, I need you guys to do something for me. I need you to brace yourself because I'm bracing myself. Help me brace myself because I know that this is my dream wish list. I know that this place is more higher end. I know that sometimes I have very expensive taste and I'm picking up things that are on the higher end, but you've got to know where your dream is in order to be like, okay, this is what I want. Is there something that's more comparable? So we're going to be exploring a lot today. I have a whole list that I need, my pictures of things that I need, and I've already been here twice looking and exploring stuff. So you're gonna be able to move me. Good, I have a meeting with Brittany. Yeah. Ooh, we have the big so many fun things today. I'm very excited. Let's go look at our toilet that we love. <sighs> She's everything. I love her so much. I do wanna see what other options this comes in. This is the one that I love for the guest bathroom. See, this is the one that I loved for the primary bathroom, but not in a living finish in that color. Okay. We're gonna do two bathrooms in a kitchen. Two bathrooms in a kitchen. I love this toilet. So okay. the style is very cottagey. I know this toilet is higher than most. Yeah. Is there any other toilets that have this kind of like rounded shape? But there is one, it's called Boko Khan. Um, I can show you a picture of it. Would that work? Okay, yeah. The majority of the house, what I'm liking is from Newport Brass. I pulled them out here. I love both of those. Do you like the agency? I like the words, yeah. Okay, what do you think about the verbiage oh, on that? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay. And I love the gooseneck stuff. So I'll gravitate towards that, for, especially for the showers. And it still has the words on Actually, it. Actually, there it is. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that is so precious. I love this. I like that better for you. Yeah. I know it's a bigger hole. So I think I, like I may that abandon you. that vanity because I just found that table. And I was like, oh, this would be a cool vanity, you know, but I could use yeah. it as just a table somewhere else. Kitchen. Oh, that's fun. That's where I want to spend more money. <laughs> <laughs> Great for me. Bertazzoni's not would not be a good option. Which one's Bertazzoni? This one over here to the left. Yeah. I love her. You don't want that. What's so. wrong with her? Anybody can make a beautiful range. Yeah. But if it doesn't work, yeah. it doesn't do you any good. It's not a good brand. No. Okay. So there's not another servicer in our area. Which is horrible. Even, even worse position out in comfort. Yeah. The only other brand that I've seen that looks similar, like in the knobs and stuff, is Hallman. That yeah. Cutlery basket up top right here. And it's quiet. Very quiet. I love that. $39.49. Four refrigerators. These are just absolutely precious. This They're so can cool. be precious. LED lighting up the sides, that one's not plugged in, um, but you'll have those light bars on every single shelf, which is nice. Um, stainless steel door bins with um, these inserts. Lots of adjustability on the doors. And I can panel it? You can panel it. And you just tell me what size you want. This is an 18 with a 30 for a 48 inch. Everyone it's said amazing things yeah. about this brand. It's, like, it's really, really nice. Bro. You can do it. Okay. And I love this. Okay. Sink. <laughs> Would you want to have a cutting board on it? Do you have more farmhouse? There's a Blanca one that's the same material. It has like a small lip right here that you can put a cutting board on it. That's nice. I like that because your island where your sink is, you might not have a ton of prep space. So you can pull that out and put it up there. You can leave it up there. Yeah. It Always come with inspiration. Always. It is so easy to get so overwhelmed when you're in this place or be influenced by other things that you like. So you gotta stay focused. I have a board on Pinterest that I keep all of this stuff in. For the guest bathroom, I already have wood floor for underneath where the clawfoot, I'm gonna get a vintage clawfoot tub for there. So I'm thinking penny tile on the walls and then coming underneath the tub, the tub yeah. with that's like a darker amazing. grout. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that's a little more organic than this? Yeah. Is I wanted to do, I love this. Like, oh, that white one? I love that so, so much. So this is an Italian porcelain. Italian porcelain. Mm -hmm. This is gray, but it's like warm. 
So that's going to have a gray brown taupe tone. I love this. I like the Can we get a sample? Absolutely. Absolutely. So primary bathroom. We don't have wood floor for there. That's a part of the addition that we're building onto the house. So what I really would like to do is a herringbone floor. Anything that gets me to that, that okay. <laughs> I'm good. Otherwise, the colors in this are going to be more towards grays and then going to the darker tones. Here's all this kind of more handmade tile. Imagine that herringbone. And then maybe something like this or this, or this, <laughs> but all in that six by six square. This is really where we're going to spend the majority of the budget. Because we're doing so much of the work ourselves, we didn't spend a dime on demo, and then we're gonna be DIY installing so much stuff, we're gonna be painting ourselves, we're gonna be redoing the floors ourselves, and we're salvaging so much from the actual house. We're saving a ton on budget in those areas. So in areas like this, where obviously I can't DIY my own refrigerator. <laughs> I can't make my own refrigerator. So it's in the budget and we can afford for quality, really nice plumbing and appliances. So let's start with the kitchen. I'm gonna share my list with you guys that I went in looking for in terms of plumbing and appliances and tile for the kitchen. I'm sure there's things not on this list yet, but I'll update you guys as the series goes along. I knew going into the design of the kitchen, I really wanted a deep set farmhouse sink and I wanted it to be white. We are still going back and forth with the idea of me finding a sink secondhand that's cast iron and actually redoing it myself or having it um, redone for the kitchen or going with a new one, but I wanted to cost it out anyways with it new. As for the faucet and the water dispenser on the sink for the reverse osmosis, I wanted to have a hot and cold reverse osmosis so that we can filter the water coming into the house. I picked out this really beautiful two handle kitchen faucet and it has a little porcelain tops that say hot and cold, it has a separate sprayer. Um, so we'll have that option because I definitely want that option. And then we'll also have the matching reverse osmosis, hot and cold water dispenser. And then for appliances for the kitchen, one that I kept going back to and the one that I just feel like has the best reviews is Mila, German engineered. It has amazing reviews. Even speaking with the girl there, she was like that. Uh, you're, you're gonna love it. And so right away I was like, I want the Mila dishwasher. Yes, 100%. I also loved the Mila refrigerator. It is pricey, but it's beautiful. And by the way, I am paneling everything, meaning I'm coming back over the doors. I'm gonna have it look like the cabinetry so it looks more cottagey and it doesn't have like a lot of stainless steel in the house. And then over the hood above the stove, I'm gonna be building that out really pretty so that it feels more like a cottage. Italian stove that I've gone in there and drooled over every time, she did not recommend it. So I've actually found a similar one that's in a better price point that is actually from a company called Hallman. It's also incredible customizable. You can get it in any color under the sun, any color combination. So we're going to be going with that stove as of now. The only other thing is the microwave. And even she was like, just get you one and put it in your pantry. We're not even going to look at those. And then for tile and countertops for the kitchen, that is to be determined. I know that I want to go with soapstone for the countertops. I've always, if you've watched any of the series, you've heard me say that in my first house, I've always dreamt about having soapstone countertops. We may do a mix, soapstone on the island, and then something different on the back. I'm gonna be exploring countertops and tile really soon for that. So the budget, the higher end things that I want, the budget for the kitchen came in just under $20,000. That's my wish list. We'll see how that goes. So now for the guest bathroom. So obviously this is all plumbing. So I loved this really detailed sink. Um, it's a self rimming bathroom sink that has a lot of detail, but it's all white. That was around $90. So I was like, that could be really beautiful, but we might not do the vanity that I found because that actually sits in. I do want the faucet to come out of the wall. Um, so this is kind of an inspiration picture of what I'm looking for or going for, for that look with tile behind it. The toilet, you guys. <laughs> I want two of these toilets. These toilets I'm gonna have to work for. 
These are very high-end toilets. Um, they're from a company called DXV. This is the perfect cottage style toilet. It has the pull-up on the back that we can plate any color that we like. For the design, I do really want a vintage style cast iron tub for this space. So that has a flat back and then we'll have a circle shower curtain hanger so that it hangs inside the tub. So that's really it for plumbing. And then for tile for the guest bathroom, that's really where we're playing around with having penny tile. And a lot of you guys have commented that penny tile is a nightmare to clean and I agree and I know that. But the way that I'm designing this bathroom and where the penny tile will be, will be underneath the vintage clawfoot tub and then up onto the walls. So the amount of direct water that it's going to get, it's not going to be like in a shower. I saw this tile on a big sheet at the tile place and it's absolutely gorgeous. And we have wood floor in there already, so it's going to stay wood. I'm just going to finish it really well and seal it. So that's all for the guest bathroom, but I don't have pricing on the whole shower um, faucet tub situation. Vintage style tubs that I was seeing at the flea market that are already refinished were around $1,100 and then all of this stuff is around $1,600 for the faucet, the sink, the expensive toilet, <laughs> the stuff. So we just need to find the shower situation. Moving right along into the main bathroom, I do want to do the same toilet. <laughs> we are going to have a double vanity in our primary bathroom. Um, so I was looking for two sinks and two faucets that match. We're going to be buying two of each. So all the faucets and the hardware in the primary bathroom will be antique brass. So it's a little darker, it's not bright brass. Um, and I picked this really beautiful kind of more masculine shaped faucet for both of the sinks in there. So we have the full collection for all of the faucets for the shower, the tub, and the sink. Hey, I'm gonna have a claw foot tub in there, but I'm gonna have a new one, white with white legs. It's gonna be rounded on both sides, not like the vintage style ones that you see with one round side and one flat side. So all of the plumbing for the main bathroom came in. This is my wish list. <laughs> it's around $7,000 for the main bathroom. It was a great start. It was so informative. We've made a lot of progress on the house in the last three months to be to this stage where we're picking appliances and plumbing. And it's getting me excited because I'm seeing it, the style and the look and the vision kind of start to come to life. We're getting there. We are gonna start framing things. I'm gonna start framing things. Interior walls on the inside of the house that's existing. Uh, we're gonna start seeing things get built now instead of torn down, which I'm so excited about, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that each video is informative, but it's also just fun, you know, to see this process. I'm having so much fun living this process. Comment down below if you've renovated a house or you hope to renovate one in the future. I would love to know what projects you guys are working Working on. So if you have missed any of the renovation videos on my channel, you can catch up on the playlist. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification. Hit the like button if you think Kinsley's cute because she's so cute. And we will see you guys next week. Right. Will we see them next week? Groom off of there. Off of there. <laughs> really? It's laughing at me. <laughs> what did I say? Do optimize. I, I said do optimize. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a word.